amazing audience we are live again uh, let me get this first ah so we are recording from mouth media network studios in new york you should check out the great show about podcasting industry the word from mouth on itunes at mouthpodcast.com and wherever the best podcasts are found amazing stuff they've made this space available for us right uh, very very appreciative yes. very very appreciative yeah uh, people that do these types of stuff like I give them full full like full big up as we say in Trinidad you know like yep. thank you so much because it's New York I mean supposedly a big deal it is. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why people think that it's just a city. Yuri, I'll tell you, just doing this is fascinating to me. Just just being able to do that, you know, from Same for me, my having friend. you on the podcast to now audio only. Even though you did video for a bit, I was like, okay, we'll do audio only, right? <laughs> Even though I did see you for a bit, but mm. like seeing you face to face, it, it's absolutely fascinating to me. So um, I'm the Wizard of Oz, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so do tell me, do tell me. Um, what's up, you know, update us uh, from then to now, what's going on? So I think, um, as I mentioned to you uh, before, you were the first podcast that I was on. Yeah. I just saw it on LinkedIn and here I am. Since then, I've been on uh, quite a few more, probably 30, 40, wow. maybe even more. So thank you for giving me my start. You're welcome. want to give you the big up for that. I appreciate it. Um, thankfully, my business, you know, is really taken off yeah, that's uh, since then. So that's a good thing. That's about your business. Uh, several, uh, three legs, I would say. One is executive coaching, basically working with executives, let's say, you know, Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, whatever. Um, they want to get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone seems to want to get out. Yeah, no, because it's a highly regulated industry. You know, com compliance is a much bigger part of it. So people want to go and do something that they're really excited about, that they're connected to. It's not just about passion. It's about, you know, who is this person? Where are they going in life? And how do they get there? Mm. So I'm helping them build that bridge first by helping them figure out, you know, who am I, what I want to be when I grow up. Yeah. And, um, you know, my framework has kind of you know, deepened and I've tested it on a number of you know, something like 300 clients by this wow. point. Wow. So, That's great. You, you know, really? it's, wow. it's really become, it's taken on a life of its own, which thank God for that. Yeah. Um, the other part of what I do is startup advising. Um, I think since we spoke the first time, um, I've been an instructor in PR and media uh, for um, a startup accelerator here mm -hmm. in New York called uh, 2020 Startups. So that's been an amazing opportunity. Um, a lot of PR I've done for myself yeah. and you know for others as well. Um, so that's another part of what I do. And then what I've done with those two first legs is I've taken that and turned it toward the corporate side of things where let's say, you know, hey, Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, whoever, you're losing people, here's why. Because wow. they're telling me this, right? I'm, I'm their coach. I'm, you know. And if you want to keep them, this is what you have to do differently. And not, not just, you know, good boy, you yeah. know, well done, but, you know, you really have to change things structurally. You have to change your HR processes. You have to look at the whole experience of well before they work for you until well, they're after, well after they're out of there, mm. how do you make sure to retain your investment in them? Mm. And the investment, of course, is in training and, you know, salary, bonus, benefits, perks, whatever. But it's much more than that, right? They represent your brand. And if you want them to represent your brand in a good way, you have to keep up that connection and, and constantly think, you know, my catchphrase now is human first, resource second. Mm -hmm. And that obviously takes a lot of work. For human first, research second. Resource. No, resource. Yeah. Oh, so human resource, HR. Yeah. All yeah. right, all right, all right. Wow. Well, you're so doing some amazing things, my friend. Well, I love it. That's the key is, number <laughs> one, you have it. to love what, what yeah. you do, and then, you know, the other things follow. Wow, yeah. that's beautiful. So, I mean, like, the, when did the third concept pop up? That, that well, these people are losing people and uh, they can do it my help. Where, where did that come from? I think it's a very natural pivot um, because executive coaching is very much an up and down kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're very good at selling, even then you're relying on someone who's comfortable. Maybe they're miserable, but they're comfortable sitting in a bank, you know, making a lot of money and supporting their family mm -hmm. and you're trying to make them feel the pain strongly enough so that they can work with you and make that transition to tech let's say mm -hmm. so it's 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 a tough sell when you go to corporations and you do that 
you know, we turn that around and help people stay and, and build a culture, that's much more long-term. Corporations obviously are much more willing to invest mm. a lot more money in that because they, they have the resources. Yeah, that's wonderful. And that's really wow. it. Wow. Yeah. Where can people connect with you? Um, YuriKruman.com, Y-U-R-I-K-R-U-M-A-N. That's my coaching, um, that's more, I would say, consulting and speaking. Mm. The coaching part is my company, masterthetalk.com. Mm, wonderful. Masterthetalk.com. Yep. That's great. One of the segments we are covering is your own unique real shoes. I see you're wearing some really nice sneakers, <laughs> yeah? Yep. And that speaks to individuals who have seen your shoes and said exactly that, right? Well, nice shoes, nice Yuri, nice life, right? But not seen the struggles that have led up to this place where you are. Please do share uh, some struggle that you're having or that you've had in over the last mm -hmm. few years. Well, let's see, number one, um, wouldn't wish this on anybody, but sometimes, you know, from above, that's, that's what you get. Um, when I was about two months into the business, I think this was probably a few months before we spoke, um, our you know, youngest daughter, who was two months then, she was diagnosed with cancer. Mm. So, you know, just started a business, I just like trying to build something, um, you know, basically my wife has a corporate job, she has to go back. So we just decided at that point that I'm gonna stay home and build my coaching business and you know, take the kid to the hospital and just take care of her. Mm. And um, what that does, obviously, you know, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger kind of thing. But um, mm. it helps, help me at least to be very clear about who I am and where I'm going and why does my business need to be successful. And that kind of intense uh, focus and just, you know, this has to not just survive but thrive because this is <laughs> not just my livelihood but my family's and everything else. So, you know, that kind of thing I think is in a way one of the strongest forces that propelled me to where I am today. Mm. It's, it's really do or die, <laughs> Yeah, you know, and in a way, I mean, I don't know, my shoes, I like my shoes because they're, um, they're sneakers, but they're leather. So mm -hmm. in a way, it's kind of both worlds. Um, I inhabit both worlds of kind of something more formal, corporate, and more, you know, sneakers at the same time because I'm getting people to go from yeah, corporate to other. tech and yeah. doing things that they love. So. I guess if you want to dig too deep yeah, <laughs> into no, what you, you well, you know I like that. You know I like yeah. to go deep, right? You know it. You know it. <laughs> well, that's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I'm really my it. friend. So you've told us how we can connect with you, right? You've told us about your struggles. When you heard that this Caribbean guy that you spoke to way back when was coming to meet you face to face, what did you think? I thought, that's pretty awesome. I never, <laughs> I never get to do that. Like, how many times have I actually, I think I've done one podcast that was actually in person. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's a lot of these people are in New York. Yeah. And I've met maybe one other person on whose podcast I was. But it's much more meaningful in a way when you meet someone and it's not, it's not just a voice in the wilderness yeah. somewhere else, you know. <laughs> so I really appreciate uh, you coming up here. I think what you're doing is fantastic. I, I don't, it. I don't know of too many people that, not only would take on such a long project and and complete it and do a second round. So mm -hmm. I really salute you for what you're doing, how you're doing it even more importantly. And I wish you only success. I appreciate that. I do believe you mean that. Uh, you know it. <laughs> and the thing is, I have your eyes to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> like I can't say. Everything else, <laughs> the shoes don't yeah. tell the story. The eyes do. The eyes you're do. You're absolutely right. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, face to face is is beautiful. Tell people where they can reach out again to um, to you, but more so. In fact, you did that a few times. Well, do it twice because it's important to like do that twice. Yeah. Sure. So as I mentioned, yurikruman.com or masterthetalk.com or just reach out directly by email yuri at masterthetalk.com. Do you have any regrets? No. Hmm. No. There's no way I could live with regrets. What are you excited about? Um, I'm writing a book right. which should be out the beginning of next year. Bestseller. I'm in. I'm calling it. I'm in. <laughs> uh, what millennials really want from work and life. Hmm. Makes sense. And that kind of fits into this, you know, consulting on a on a it, wider basis. Yeah, it yeah. runs across the three as well. Yeah. I mean, I could see corporate saying, okay, let's get into this book, right? Let's yep. see what they really want. Exactly. That's great. You're a great pleasure, my friend. Same Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. What is inspired by 12-minute convos with Angel Jones.
Thank you. Boo.